Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. How seawater desalination works is a topic crucial to understanding the intricacies of green hydrogen production, particularly when considering the potential to bypass desalination entirely. Desalination technology has long been used to convert seawater into freshwater for human consumption and industrial use, especially in arid regions where water resources are scarce. The process of desalination, however, comes with substantial energy requirements and costs, which is why avoiding it in hydrogen production is seen as a key goal to improve efficiency and sustainability. The most common method for seawater desalination is reverse osmosis RO. In reverse osmosis, seawater is forced through a semi-permeable membrane under high pressure. This membrane allows water molecules to pass through while blocking salts, minerals, and other impurities. The result is two streams of output one containing fresh water and the other a highly concentrated brine solution that is typically returned to the ocean. The semi-permeable membrane serves as the key barrier that filters out dissolved salts while allowing only water molecules to cross. The reverse osmosis process requires significant amounts of energy, typically between 3 to 6 kilowatt hours of electricity per cubic meter of water desalinated. This energy consumption is one of the primary cost drivers of desalination, along with the capital expenses involved in building and maintaining desalination plants. Capital costs for desalination infrastructure can be quite high, depending on the capacity of the facility and the local conditions in which it operates. Additionally, ongoing operational costs are influenced by local electricity prices, infrastructure requirements, and the technology used in the desalination process. Apart from the costs, there are also environmental concerns associated with desalination, primarily related to the disposal of brine. Brine is a byproduct of the desalination process and is significantly more concentrated in salt than regular seawater. If not properly managed, the discharge of brine into the ocean can disrupt marine ecosystems by increasing local salinity levels, which can negatively impact marine life. Therefore, desalination is not just an economic and energy-intensive process but also poses environmental challenges that need to be addressed. Now, when we shift the focus to green hydrogen production, desalination plays an important role because electrolysis, the process used to produce green hydrogen, requires pure water. During electrolysis, water is split into hydrogen and oxygen using an electric current. However, if seawater is used directly in the process without removing impurities, the presence of sodium chloride, NaCl, and other salts can interfere with the electrochemical reactions. Chloride ions, for example, can lead to the production of chlorine gas at the anode instead of oxygen, reducing the efficiency of the hydrogen production process and posing safety risks due to chlorine's corrosive nature. To avoid these issues, seawater typically undergoes desalination before it is fed into electrolyzers for hydrogen production. While desalination adds a relatively small cost to the hydrogen production process on a per unit basis, the impact becomes more significant at an industrial scale. For instance, the cost of desalinating one cubic meter of seawater typically ranges from 50 cents to one dollar, depending on the technology and energy prices. Since producing one kilogram of hydrogen requires about nine liters of water, the cost of desalinating this amount of water would add one cent to three cents per kilogram of hydrogen. While these figures may seem insignificant at first, when hydrogen production is scaled up to meet global demand, these costs can accumulate, making the process less cost-effective. Beyond the financial implications, the energy required for desalination can increase the total energy consumption of hydrogen production by 5 to 10 percent. This extra energy burden not only adds to the operational costs but also reduces the overall energy efficiency of the hydrogen production process, especially in regions where renewable energy sources may not always be available or affordable. Given these challenges, bypassing the need for desalination in seawater electrolysis has become a key area of research and innovation. Scientists and engineers are developing advanced membranes and catalysts that can allow seawater to be used directly in the electrolysis process without the need to remove salts first. This would eliminate the energy required for desalination, simplify the infrastructure required for hydrogen production, and lower both capital and operational costs. 
One of the key innovations driving this shift is the development of proton exchange membranes, PAMs, and anion exchange membranes, EMs, that selectively allow certain ions to pass through while blocking others. These membranes enable the electrolysis process to focus on splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen while preventing chloride ions from causing unwanted byproducts like chlorine gas. By filtering out chloride ions and other impurities, these advanced membranes make it possible to use seawater directly in electrolysis, bypassing the need for desalination. A promising example of this innovation comes from the University of Adelaide, where researchers have developed nanostructured bifunctional catalysts that can efficiently produce hydrogen directly from seawater without the need for desalination. These catalysts work by enhancing the electrochemical reactions that split water into hydrogen and oxygen while suppressing side reactions that would otherwise lead to the production of unwanted byproducts. The result is a more efficient hydrogen production process that can use seawater directly, eliminating the need for costly and energy-intensive desalination. Avoiding desalination also brings environmental benefits. As mentioned earlier, desalination produces brine, which, if improperly managed, can harm marine ecosystems. By eliminating desalination from the process, hydrogen producers can reduce their environmental footprint while still generating clean energy. This is especially important in coastal regions and island nations, where protecting marine ecosystems is often a high priority. From an economic perspective, bypassing desalination can make hydrogen production more cost-effective, particularly in areas where desalination infrastructure would otherwise be necessary. Regions with abundant seawater and access to renewable energy, such as coastal and island nations, are well positioned to benefit from these advancements. By leveraging renewable energy sources like offshore wind or solar power, these regions could produce green hydrogen directly from seawater, avoiding the added costs and environmental impacts of desalination. Additionally, by eliminating the need for desalination, hydrogen production facilities can reduce both capital and operational costs, making the process more scalable and economically viable. This could help accelerate the transition to green hydrogen as a key solution for decarbonizing industries and transportation sectors worldwide. In conclusion, understanding how seawater desalination works provides valuable insights into why bypassing it is so important for the future of green hydrogen production. While desalination adds relatively small costs to the hydrogen production process, its energy consumption and infrastructure requirements make it a significant hurdle when scaling up production. By developing advanced membranes and catalysts that allow seawater to be used directly in electrolysis, researchers are working to eliminate the need for desalination, thereby reducing costs, improving energy efficiency, and enhancing the environmental sustainability of hydrogen production. As the world moves toward a cleaner energy future, technologies that bypass desalination will play a crucial role in making green hydrogen more accessible, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. Thank you for joining us at ReneeEnergy.com. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on green hydrogen, renewable energy, and cutting-edge technologies shaping the future of clean energy. Together, we can explore new ways to power the world with sustainable energy solutions. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.